Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him on Late Show with David Letterman. His brand new one hour special, Medicated, just started airing on CISO. He's also a regular on the Anthony Cumia Show and the Artie Quitter Podcast. Our host and patient tonight, Joe Matteris. Fixing Joe listener here. Who's a, who's a listener? I got eight listeners. Awesome. <laughs> so you're all you're all uh, Kumia fans. Kumia, do you watch me on Kumia? <laughs> Anthony Kumia, awesome. Love him. Ar Artie Quitter. Artie Quitter. <laughs> and uh, I was just asking Jim Norton's new show on uh, Sirius XM. We got it all covered. It's total podcast and radio listening audience. This is awesome. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So I, I wanted to sit down and just kind of talk it out so you could get the more long form thing that's going on. So basically, uh, I had a friend have a stroke. Hilarious. <laughs> I had a friend have a stroke last week and he was one of these guys that was always working. Right, just going all the time. Like he would come on vacation with us, my mother-in-law's fiance, right? This Indian guy. Super great guy, his name's Noggin, right? So this is like the Noggin podcast, I guess. He, he's ha he has a stroke, and I pictured him like working while he was laying on the table, stroking out, you know, like, I, I, uh, you know. Give me my phone, give me my iPhone. I have to call India, you know. Like, I've been that person. Has anyone, uh, anyone been that person where you're in the ER and you're, you're worried that you're not going to make it to work on time? I've had that happen. I, I, I got hit in the back on the way to some gig in Jersey in like 93 or something. Smashed. At, this is back when they had, we had to pay the tolls on the parkway in Jersey. I didn't pay, though. I would do the fake throw. Jim Florentine taught me the, the fake throw. He goes, what are you paying for? You did a fake throw. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Yeah, you just fucking wing it. Yeah, and then you fucking go. I don't know. What, they got perfect vision? They're gonna know you didn't throw 35 cents? They fucking pull you over. You go, I fucking, I fucking did. You might have missed it. I don't know. Go back and look. It's probably on the ground. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to just basically figure out with these guys tonight that I'm going to bring up, and I thank them so much for doing this, how to slow down, man. Because I don't want to be that guy that's just going. Like, I think it's because, I don't know if it's a showbiz thing or an everybody thing. I've been chasing the comedy dream. <laughs> They're going to shit on me for this one. <laughs> oh, just opening up. It's like an open wound. Chasing it. Chasing it hard, man. All of us up here. That's part of show business. You just go, because you think if you stop, you know, they're going to give Amy Schumer some more money. That's what happens. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure that out, and, uh, and I appreciate you guys. At the end, we're going to let you give me some advice. You can ask some questions. We got some phone calls, and, and, and we have our guests. So are you guys ready to get this started? Yeah. Let's figure this out. All right, so uh, let's give it up for our, uh, our first guy coming here, I guess, to, uh, to give me advice. I do, his, uh, I do his, uh, his streaming network, I would say once a month, and I, I feel like it's probably some of the most fun I've ever had. Thank God my wife doesn't subscribe. I feel like it's the one show you can just, you just, you just go, and it's so fun every time. And if, you, if you're not a subscriber, you should definitely check out this guy, uh, compoundmedia.com. Give it up for uh, Mr. Anthony Cumia. Maybe right, maybe crazy, but it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Turn out the light, don't try to save me. Yeah. Yeah. I got to run to keep from having <laughs> And I'm bound to 
keep on riding. Yeah, you ever clean a horse corral, everybody? Well, thank you, Joe. What a pisser. Great. I never saw a space launch that had a preamble like this uh, podcast has. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. It's awesome. And you invite me to a show where it's like, how do I slow down? Oh, yeah, I'm the guy for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy for that. Awesome. <laughs> That's right. Let me tell you after my last court appearance at the end of the month how Anthony slows the fuck down. By the way, not even shitting. Ticket today, speeding ticket. Uh, you Slow speeding? down, yeah. 100 in a 50. Uh, I'm not even fucking you. That's hilarious. And I know where all the cops are on the Grand Central Parkway, and I'm driving, and those motherfuckers, you'll just be driving, having a great time. All of a sudden, every mirror in your car is th just lights. <laughs> They're all over me, and that was it. I was done, 100. He goes, you know, I could arrest you. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> in my head and then then I just sucked his dick because if I get arrested now I'm literally going to prison and sucking dick so I figure it's a win-win <laughs> are you on probation yeah what's probation really I'm more an anti-bation kind of person. No, I, uh, no. I just have to be good until December 23rd. I almost fucked it up today, which would have been awesome. That would have been the biggest goof. He fucked it up. He was good for almost a year. Almost. Yeah, it's that bad. So, slow down. Yeah, let me tell you. Uh, that's a and I'm a guy that likes staying home and playing video games. So it's like okay. every time I go out, I'm fucking up. <laughs> Stay home. But uh, you, you actually, well, I'm gonna bring up the, all the guys. I wanna get, I, wanna, you, I don't wanna really do the one by one thing. I wanna do the round table Oh, well, thing. fuck that. Or would you rather do? <laughs> you like... I'm like Sinatra on Carson, I'll just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's get them all out here all at once. This is gonna be fun. Kumi and Anthony could go for hours here. So uh, our next, uh, our next uh, roundtable member, uh, like I said, he just uh, has his own show on Sirius XM. He's on in the mornings. Uh, give it up, everybody, for Jim Norton. <laughs> Thank you. You guys were great. The band from Sling Blade. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I play poker with the chief of police. <laughs> Randy, you non-tuned son of a bitch. <laughs> wow. A hundred and a fifty. We're all waiting for you to get a fifty-five and a twelve. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Hey, can we bring on the next guest? Cue cards. Can we read who it is? Where's the cue cards? <laughs> Fucking nine people. Where's my cards? Dude, I, I didn't blink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we bring up our... our, our uh... All right, everybody. Let's bring out our, our final panel member here tonight. Uh, you, you listen to his already Quitter podcast four days a week. ArtieQuitter.com. Give it up for Artie Lang. Monster skis and box he wears on the chest. When a daddy comes home, she never gets no rest. Got you playing all night. And the music's all right. Yeah. Mama's got a squeeze, but daddy never sleeps at night. Nice. Yeah. Well, that was for you. I just got the 55 and 12. Going. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Fucking hilarious. I had, a go I had a Google Anthony. <laughs> and it's not even accurate, but there's no six mile an hour zone. <laughs> you know, Anthony. If, if, uh, if, if the same joke kills with you, that would also kill with Jerry Sandusky. You're <laughs> 
This is a good idea. If the next comic is Lisa Lampanelli, we're going to flow over to the cellar. <laughs> I mean, what do I mean? Essential uh, booking is less crowded. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I would keep it up. I Thanks for coming, Artie. Yeah. Every instinct I have this is like, in comedy so, means we would never speak again. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm either going to... you got to cash in every once in a while. I, yeah, like no, I, I do yours 30 times, and then you come over and do my once, and then you don't have to talk to me. Oh, I don't smart. Have to, you know, it's cool. Uh, well, it, it cost me as much money tonight as it cost you 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> this costs a lot, did you? Yeah, 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 well, you know, I got, a, I got a car I park in a garage, and it's what, $180. <laughs> then the Viking from the, the guys in the cellar. <laughs> yeah, can you just get Dan Filato to just sit in it, double park somewhere? <laughs> you actually have to take a boat to do Artie's show, which is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> You hop on the ferry, it's like, like oh, it's red. Oh, I'm on a ship. By the way, this is not even about helping Joe. It's an intervention for Artie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm listening to Anthony. I'm like, what the fuck is so wrong with your life? <laughs> yeah, Artie does make me feel good about me. <laughs> why, did, why, did they, why did they have so Gary Glitter? <laughs> it's like the, I look like the Grimace. Show us your tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, <laughs> my favorite thing ever, the, the, the last year there was bad. I was on heroin every day of the show. And I, uh, the greatest thing, I ever, the funniest thing I ever did was nodding off. And uh, <laughs> Kathy Griffin was telling Howard how uh, she was telling her mother she got nominated for an Emmy. And it was her dream as a kid. And she was crying. And then you just hear me snoring. Because <laughs> 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 Howard, I said, Mom, I got nominated for an Emmy. And I... <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> well, l let's just go around one by one on you, on the, on the, on the, on the, just the theme of the phone, because you, you've figured it out, though. You're like a non-email guy already. You don't do the email. Like, I do. You, so, like, how do, how, how do you live? What, do, do you shut the phone down? Do you have a routine? What do you well, do? Well, I come from an, an, a time when, you know, people, the whole world has changed. Um, you know, uh, I, I'm Italian from North Jersey, and you know, people following you was a bad thing. You know, you don't want to follow. <laughs> if I told my old man 330,000 people are following me, he'd be like, "Oh my God, we gotta move." <laughs> 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 the fuck did you do? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's you know, I, I just email, and I don't like, you know. Every John Gotti, Sammy the Bull Gravano video, they, they weren't emailing. They were, you know, they were with an umbrella talking out on the street. Um, I, I just have this thing where I love to... Uh, John Gotti had a guy work for him called... Um, his name was Quack Quack Ruggiero. And they called him Quack Quack because he talked all the time. And you don't like people like that. Before. And I have a thing. I would love to go back in time and uh, tell John Gotti that Quack Quack opened a Twitter account. <laughs> and see how fast he goes, send Quack Quack back here. <laughs> I mean, everything is, you're, you're on camera, you're talking about yourself, everybody, you know, the, 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 you weren't supposed to tell wives anything in the mafia. There's a show called Mob Wives. It's, it's all turned around. I, I, don't, uh, I don't like email because it's paperwork. Right. Uh, I don't want anything on paper. I don't want to see you. You, know. pro you probably in your relationships get the opposite that like a married guy gets. Like a married guy gets. You mean head? head? <laughs> 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 I'm like a volleyball setter up here. This isn't no. cool. You're teeing it up for this three, right? I, I, yeah. <laughs> It, it couldn't be harder for me, but seriously, like my wife will yell at me if I have the phone on, where you probably would get yelled at for your, your phone not being on. Uh, like yeah. I can't get a hold of well, you. Where are thing. you? Yeah, you get everyone get in touch with you now. You can make calls on planes, <laughs> and uh, you get people get in touch with you on a plane. There's no, you can't go look. I, 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 I gotta go do something bad. I have to go do everything bad. And I, while I'm doing it, I don't want to get in time. I want to go fuck a whore. I want to gamble. I want to make a bet. <laughs> I want to do drugs. I want to drink. I want to smoke. I want to say the N-word. Oh, <laughs> uh, I could hate it. <laughs> See, you did it in front of people. <laughs> what do you mean, did it? <laughs> I said, I want to do everything wrong. 
And you can't do that anymore. You're a guy, a man has to blow off steam, you know, and you got to do bad shit. And there's no chance to do it anymore. You guys have a really interesting definition of blowing off steam. <laughs> <laughs> Here's yeah. a girl named Steam. <laughs> girl. Use the term loose. Yeah, of course. I'd be mean, like, you know, if if uh, if uh, if you got a bet on a game and a, and a black quarterback throws an interception, you know, African American doesn't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> or you're cut off in your car. <laughs> <laughs> or you see one with a white girl. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Jim. I good luck selling this. <laughs> does, does, the, does the clan have only, a network? I can, o I can only sell it to yes, Anthony Yes, it's called Cumbia. Compound Media. <laughs> I, uh, that was great. I, I was at a, I, this a little, I was at a Black Lives Matter rally today. I, I want to see if I get my wallet back. Laugh at me. A guy's cousin had it. I, th I thought that would get more. So, so Jim, like, okay, I don't know you. Well, I probably know you as well as I know Anthony. Like, I don't know you outside of comedy, really. So, like, I don't know, like. Are you like in a relationship? Are you like on your phone all the time? I know you had the hooker thing. Like, is there a time what? that the hooker thing? No, that's no. that's Good all set up. But, that, <laughs> but well, I, you really don't know Jim. Yeah. Don't. I know you had that hooker phase you went through from 1968 to 2017 almost. And that thing where you think you're gay but you're not sure. You know how it is, folks. As long as there's a dress on it, you're heterosexual. <laughs> A hook your face. <laughs> I'm in mind. Would you say your daily life though is very high strong, or are you like you know how to shut it down and you know where to get like get away? Uh, it's it's very. Uh, I can't turn it. I can't stop texting. I can't stop on kick. I can't uh, stop with the instant community. It's all the stuff you're talking grinder. about. Grinder. Oh please. <laughs> <laughs> I strike out on grinder. I'm too chubby. <laughs> I can, uh, I, you know, I'm, I can do, uh, I'm so good, I can do Grinder, Uber, and Tinder all at once. I, uh, <laughs> well, there's I, uh, a new one called... Well, I, <laughs> I get a town car, and I watch a guy get fucked in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I almost stepped on you with a stupid one, I'm my sorry. fault. I was going to say I joined Grinder Eats. <laughs> Look at this, Uber Eats. <laughs> yep, that's a stupid one. <laughs> but it's coming. <laughs> I started a, uh, I started one called Clugger. Uh, it tells you if uh, a guy likes Jack Klugman with a 20 feet. <laughs> oh, I Clugger. thought that was Jack. I knew that would bother. Uh, I wanted to dig a hole. I should have took, took 30 Adderalls before I came up here. <laughs> Holy shit! This is what I, this I struggle with. I can't even. You're not a drug guy. You just Adderall is a euphemism for methamphetamine. I know. <laughs> I know, I don't dude. I could focus on Adderall. I'm you're, on, you're on blow. I'm still not focused. Like, I need more. I, need, I, I didn't have co I need coffee and Adderall at the same time. I knew a girl who took Adderall. She was narcoleptic. <laughs> you, you, that or I was boring. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, you're on dope, man. That's why you're happy. I'm not. I'm not well, you're not happy on Adderall? Well, that's, 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 that's trouble. That's, I have, I'm, energetic doesn't mean happy. Like, energy can Rich mean fucking... Man. Richard Simmons just proved that. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've called my wife the c-word on. Really? On. I did that a couple of times. Yeah, <laughs> they don't like that. They don't like that. You got to yeah, put a Y she, at the end of it do? that really softens it. <laughs> Cunty's totally <laughs> accepted. When, when did she stop listening? <laughs> what? Yeah, what did she do to deserve it? I'm sure you didn't do it for no reason. Uh, exactly. That's no what guy I said just to her. says cunt for no reason. Well, it's not like morning cunt. It never no, exactly. happens like that. Never. That's what I said to her. She goes, "Oh my god, I've never been called that, and I didn't think my husband would be the one." I well, go, well, I guess you were due. Yeah, absolutely. I Jim hope you took that pridefully. That would have made me feel wonderful. Yeah. Jim, uh, Jim makes a good point. In The Godfather, Carlo calls uh, uh, Connie a spoiled guinea brat because she was rude to his whore. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, now kill me like your father. <laughs> That's 
it. <laughs> you spoiled goody cunt. Yeah, that, uh, the, uh, when you call your uh, wife a cunt, it immediately changes the argument to you called me cunt. So, yeah. so if that's less than whatever you were arguing about, it's worth saying. I've done it. It's great. Like, this argument's about this. Not much. If I call her a cunt, it's less than what we were arguing about. You want to feel uh, good about yourself? Watch 600 Yeah, I pounds. fucked her, you cunt. <laughs> Watch us. <a> <laughs> <laughs> watch a uh, watch 600 pound life. That's all I watch, man. I feel like brand it's called a mirror, pit. Artie. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was uncalled for, dude. Oh, that even. was uncalled for. 100 percent correct. I'm like, I'm like, I'm 280 soaking wet. That makes no sense. <laughs> yes, on Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> I watch 600 pound life and I feel, I feel like David fucking Beckham. <laughs> it is unbelievable. I have one of those guys on my phone right now. We, we were doing it. I keep one of the guys who's married to this broad who's 650 pounds. He's got a lazy eye and he's got hair like Dilbert. <laughs> and I keep him on my phone. If I talk to a chick, I, I go like this. And I go. <laughs> She's like, wow, when did Brad Pitt walk in? <laughs> the, well, dude, when, when I called her that, I immediately Googled, like, calling your wife a cunt. I just wanted to wow. see if what it came was common. What came up, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to my see if it was shot. common or if people get thought. Because I thought my wife was going to divorce me over it. I really did. So I Googled it, and there was all these different ones of people calling their wives a fat cunt. Like, And I was like, wow. can you imagine cunts not mean enough that you got to... <laughs> yeah. You got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never hit a chick, but I, I, I've dated chicks who can take a charge. <laughs> <laughs> they run in front of you and plant their two feet. <laughs> All right. So what, what, wait, what did she do that you called her cunt, though? What was happening? Uh, it, it, oh, it was, uh, you really want to know? Yeah, of course. Okay. Did it she was, critique uh, the show? It was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Joe, I think you need a new theme song. Shut up, cunt. Cue cards, I Joe. I yes, called her a cunt. It was on the cue card. <laughs> yes. Uh, it turns out it was can't, but they forgot the apostrophe. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if, I view, if I give you an honest review, you'll be calling me cunt in five seconds. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sitting here doing my, I'm doing like comedy math in my head where I'm going, is anyone who knows my wife in the audience? Like that's, I'm, I'm like, all, I'm all a sudden afraid of that. That black guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love how people think racism is over. That just 300 people just laughed at that. <laughs> 300? What did everyone in the audience laugh twice? <laughs> I was trying to help Joe out. <laughs> this is like this is like I could see Ellen's company buying this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you the. You, you, you can have fun with it. I'll just give you the real. The real story Dude, was. You're like the uh, Lusitania sitting in the middle of the sea. <laughs> my wife did two. I two really stupid things back to back. Like in the in married like the, you yeah. and then yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, How it about? doesn't. Did you ask her to send a prenup? Uh, no. Okay. She makes more than me. All right. <laughs> if we get divorced, I get a BMW. She, she work at McDonald's? <laughs> Just end it here, Joe. Yes. yes. <laughs> Let the fans sing something else. Anthony's so much nicer on his one-on-one -on -one show. <laughs> this, this is your show, Elias. <laughs> If you think, if you're, if this is your Eat True Hollywood story, which say, coming up, Joe invites Anthony Cumbia. Uh, <laughs> no, go ahead. What happened? <laughs> what was the second thing? Yeah. <laughs> we got an hour to kill. <laughs> oh, shit. Why were well, you were arguing about what? Uh, it was, first off, she got in a car accident. <laughs> oh, she, no. <laughs> Wow. She came home. Holy shit. She came home. You start saying funny shit now? Well, you know? She, I know how she feels like I booked on one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she had a, was she okay? <laughs> yeah, really, wait a minute, that's right. 
Yeah, we got to make sure she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. <laughs> I hope so. He called her a cut. <laughs> In the hospital. <laughs> Am I going to be okay? Uh, I don't know, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Are they poking my toes with a pin? <laughs> that was an 83 Dodge Dart, you cunt! Uh. <laughs> uh. I had Rush's I guess, first album on cassette. <laughs> I guess the biggest slam is I'm married to a doctor and none of you can keep a woman. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. So. Married to a doctor. Too bad it's not Kevorkian. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. That doesn't yeah. even work. The thing is, it's Dr. Dre. <laughs> yes. And I'll be honest, I don't even know if I want to keep a woman at this point in my life. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I want to keep him. I'll keep him for like 48 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what happened? You, she had an argument, you, an accident. She was okay. She got in a car accident. She left the scene without <sighs> getting any... <laughs> she left the scene without getting any uh, anything of the person that hit her in the back of the car. Didn't get their license plate. Didn't get their uh, address. Didn't get their, uh, their email. Got, like, not their insurance really? card. Fucking nothing. And uh, that kind of annoyed me. <laughs> sure. And then two days later, she comes walking in the kitchen. She goes, oh, I set up that pea pod thing. Well, okay, what's that? She's like, well, you know, you, you order the groceries. I set up pea pod. They're going to be delivering groceries tomorrow. Um, I go, well, what time? She goes, I set it up between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. I go, are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's when I'm getting the kids ready and I got to get them to school. And she's like, I, the, uh, I did something nice for us. It's, what's wrong with 6 in the a.m.? And then uh, my son... Yeah, was, this is so much better than fucking random girls, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Blows let it me, away. Uh, me, oh, that sounds great. No, no, oh, no, 8 no. a.m. for the groceries. Ooh. <laughs> no, note to self, never marry a doctor. <laughs> you yeah, know, the last time I got blown, I thought, God, I wish Fresh Direct would interrupt this. <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> kid, kid, kid fresh, kid fresh direct. Nothing like a hummer and hummus. Boy, this is a good show. <laughs> you know what's great? I have bad hearing. I can't hear anything you guys are fucking Oh, you have no idea how lucky you are. I'm missing everything. <laughs> well, don't worry. You're not missing applause. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think you want your eyesight to go. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe. The second thing. No, we pause. This. <laughs> well, uh... so she she had this book for six a.m. Ah, ah, you complain. Yes. <laughs> I want to know. I want to get back on track. Oh, sure. I got to hear the. I, I give you someone has a schedule in life. <laughs> You wanted and to... Cunt uh, slid out of my mouth as I turned the corner. <laughs> one of those. It wasn't like a direct you cunt right in your face. It was like, oh, like I thought I was not mad. And then wow, it was nice. a cunt on exit. Right. <laughs> okay. Which isn't, I guess, as bad. But when it's the only time your wife's ever been hurt, <laughs> called that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was tough to get laid again after that one. Well, when she said I was the first time anyone's ever called me that, did you apologize? Because then you could have said, well, now you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, well there... He just set himself up for yeah, a Yeah, he certainly line. did. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? That's what we do here. We set uh, ourselves up. <laughs> well, uh, this is kind of... Uh, well, we can say... Uh, one of the things I think with everybody running like fucking crazy these days is that nobody's really connecting. I know this is like fun for you guys to slam the shit out of me. Yeah, yes. But it actually is, yeah. it is. I didn't think I'd like this as much. No, but I can't think of anything more fun no. than this evening. It, this it, is actually awesome. It's fun, but it's very disconnected, and that's why you're single. It's oh, like a, stop I'm serious. It. No. I'm no, serious. No, that's why I'm a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, this is like a podcast, and you know, it's all right to slam. I'm signal because no. of fact shaming. <laughs> no, but I, I feel like the world we're in now that everybody's like a little fucking disconnected. No one has a real conversation. This doesn't feel like a real conversation. This is well, how you wanted to have a real conversation? Yeah, in front of a room full of people. And then you oh, mentioned no. I called my wife a cunt. We're supposed to go. Let's get to it, Joe. <laughs> 
Rolling. <laughs> These guys are paying, what was it, 14 bucks for a Rolling Rock? <laughs> are you guys you enjoying the show? That's as connected as you can be to an audience. I, I'm and if you think I have an wait, 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 unbiased opinion... Let me get a fucking word in on my no, own show. No, no, I have to say this. If you think I would have an unbiased opinion on how social media <laughs> fucks relationships up... <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I don't know. But, but seriously, do you, do you have a problem con connecting one-on-one? -on -one? Of course we do. You know that. Right, right. Okay. I think I, I, I don't know what it is, but every comedian that I've met that is super fucking quick-witted, like all three of you guys, you're all single, and you have trouble in a fucking conversation. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on, you every comedian. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> trouble we in a conversation. Wait. No, 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 no. wait, wait, no, no. See? He th he thinks I have a trouble connecting. Tell him I don't. <laughs> No, that's true. Jimmy that's says. True. And every comedian no, I not. know. it's wrong. It's actually wrong. Every comedian I know who's not witty and not funny is married to a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's obviously a joke. <laughs> I will. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and take that. I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm not a disconnected person. Like I know that you guys are quicker witted than me and very not true. I, I I really think that. That's I, not I true. know for a fact if we had the yes, you are, but I know from being in this business for twenty nine years what, what I might be better at than you guys. Life. Which would be Well life, life probably uh, life. Is he doing an Opie impression? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, dude, fixing Joe this right now is what you should fix. The fact that you're getting resentful. I'm not getting resentful. Or, or uncomfortable. Not resentful. Well, no, no, no. Are, you know I'm having no, fun with you. No, I know you're... I'm not resentful. I swear to God, I'm not mad. I like that you're getting the laughs. I swear to God, I'm not... Well, someone's, I, 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 someone's not, being a cunt. No. <laughs> See, Seriously. <laughs> See, it's so much fun. This job is so much fun. Yes, this is a great crowd. They're awesome. No, but ser but seriously, I think you guys can relate to when you're in some sort of situation like this with a bunch of comics, and if they're talking more than you and get more laughs, it's a normal comedian thought to be like, "Fuck, I'm uh, bombing." It's like we bombing. get that no feeling. No one is though. thinking of that. No, I, I know, but we, but it's a natural thing. Like, so I don't know if... you're gonna die amongst your grandkids. <laughs> I'll be, I'll die at a Marriott in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. Let me it? have this night. All right. My, my last moments on Earth, surrounded by Big A and Bobo. <laughs> That's, they're my family. That'll be great. What I'll did be, I gonna, fucking do wrong? I'm going to die when I'm still in my hooker phase. <laughs> well, and and ha have fun with this, because seriously, I want to know, like when you do a show, and, and, and answer it honestly, all three of you guys, when you're done, do you go hide... Or do you sit and shake hands with, with the people? Depends. If I'm, I've, I've sold merch for a year. I took more fan photos than almost any comic I've ever met because I would sell merch afterwards and talk to almost anybody right. who's been to a Jim Norton show. Right. I talk to almost everybody on the way out. Yeah, okay. And if uh, I have to talk to a, a hundred people that I might fuck one, <laughs> I will absolutely... <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it depends on how I many days you're teaching. <laughs> <laughs> the lesser. <laughs> Another one. See, I... <laughs> this, uh, this is a true story. The only time I ever talked to somebody after the show was I was in St. Louis, 2 a.m. I'm on stage. At the Funny Bone, at, with the paper thin wall behind you. You know that one where the, the band, you could hear the fucking band? You're like you're the drummer of the band behind you. And uh, uh, karaoke night. I listen to a guy sing Living on a Prayer. And, I'm like, <laughs> and uh, I was so fucking hungry. And it was 2 a.m., and I remember there was a little kid on the side of a White Castle box that said St. Louis was one of the cities it was in. And uh, I said, is there a White Castle near here? And it was like Springsteen going into Born to Run. <laughs> 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 the last thing I remember is saying, can you drive me to White Castle? And I woke up with eight double cheeseburgers on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> I never sold merch. I, I, I'm very lazy, you know? Uh, that heroin does that. <laughs> But I see you guys were drug guys. Jimmy is uh, an impressive human being because I remember saying to you, you had the same schedule as me, 
you know, I would I, I would come in the, at series. I look like Keith Richards coming from Studio Fifty Four, <laughs> and you're like an efficient person. You really are, and you're funny and you're edgy. You're still, Thank you. You live healthier, and I just never, you know, the healthier. drugs. Seem, the you drugs ever heard seem, of AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> now, those no, weren't and I those were cheeseburgers right, on his right, chest. <laughs> Joe, you're right. These guys are cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would see Artie every morning. I would be going up for Opie and Anthony. You'd be going up for Howard. And it, it was funny to see. We would kind of get in at the same time, though. Oh, right. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, was, I was impressed that he got up. I mean, yeah, it's true. I was amazed. <laughs> but I, it, it, uh, but no, go, when you go into the, the drugs, I couldn't get off drugs the entire time. So it was a very different experience. You know, it's like, you know, I, I didn't talk to anybody. I isolated. Coke was a social drug. You want to go out, blah, blah, blah. And you meet a lot of assholes. But I don't know how you got up that early, especially from Coke. I well, listen. Well, you there's know. no like, oh, well, let's put this Coke away for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, we'll do more Coke <laughs> later. It just, it just had a last new Robin's news. <laughs> 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 on the East show, you wouldn't see my head sometimes. <laughs> Do you realize I am sitting between a couple of people who have slept through the alarm clock? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, no, yeah, I slept through. In Vegas, uh, it got to the news that I was dead. They announced I was dead on the news. And my girlfriend tried to tell me that, and I slept through that. <laughs> do, do you think, uh, now this... I, I already hear the jokes, but seriously, do you think it's possible to be positive and funny? Does it have to be mean and negative I every guess. time? Well, back well, to his so earlier point about AIDS. <laughs> yeah, but seriously. Really positive. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, HIV oh. positive. <laughs> HIV positive. <laughs> so one time you want to think negative. <laughs> Let's not weight loss shame. <laughs> No, because ah, like ah, I thought, ah, like, there are very few people that could, I think, be uh, funny and and be positive. Uh, is there anyone? Like they Brian don't. Regan's hilarious, yeah. and there's. But it's not positive. It's no, just it's, observational. But he's miserable. If you ever talk nice. No, believe me, I know. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you mean off stage, you know, right? Well, Joe, you mean off stage? Well, I, I'm talking. Well, it was more on the line of like everything on Twitter is just. Anything you say gets a negative response, and everybody right. is in this world now where they like, I'm gonna be really mean, and that's what's funny. Like no one ever right. goes for the let's say something funny, but not like you saw. Like everything is just mean. I just, I'm wondering if it's even possible. Like I'm trying to think of a comedian where you walk out and go, oh, that was funny. It's harder to be po yeah. is positive and funny because usually being funny is a reaction to something, and right. also. Uh, conflict is funny. Um, nobody to talk to somebody about how was your date. Oh, it was what a dream. Right, right. Boo. Right, right, right. How was your date? He took his dick out. Sit down. Uh, <laughs> right. The, the well, what, positive what, is what, boring. But the when you say the episode about Mary Lou Hedder or about Danny DeVito, who do you what do you watch? You watch the Louis one. It's he's, he's an asshole. And that's television shows the same way. I think. You know? yeah. But like, yeah. the, there the, are people the, that are just blatantly mean on Twitter and stuff. But I think comedians. Uh, because they're thinking all the time, it's very easy to see all the negative. Ignorance being bliss, that is so true. You look at a retard sometimes and go, God, I wish I was retarded. Uh, <laughs> <but> like, <laughs> I, I was waiting for a wish come true. <laughs> so I was going to, but then you looked at me and I'm like, oh, he's pointing at me. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. If you have a career where sometimes you blurt out, God, I wish I was retarded. There's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's going to be an issue there. <laughs> well, like, Anthony and I, we talk a lot about shows we loved growing up where, like, All in the Family and different shows where it wasn't just the punchline. It was more like it took you on this, where it would, like, it would have a little serious moment, then it would get really fucking hilarious, then it would be mean, then it would, you know, it, it didn't stay on that note. And... I don't know. I, uh, maybe that's just me, and I'm not. I'm, you know. Would you watch Wiley e. Coyote if you didn't get blown up? <laughs> that's right. what I'm saying. But it's, I gotta be honest. My fa my favorite comedian. I, I even think Richard Pryor. He took you on. He took you on this. It wasn't. It was just, stories. It yeah, wasn't just, just. But it was negative. It, it, was, it, was, right. negative it was negative stuff. Negative. I mean, it was yeah, a, it was a tragic reason. life. I know, but there were moments where you didn't. I don't know. I felt. I don't know. It's a different, a different emotion for me. I think. I don't know. Right. 
Do you think he was lamb- Do you think he was like lambasting people though in, in his act? Richard, no. I mean, he grew yeah. up in a whorehouse. I mean, he was talking about that life, you know. Yeah, but that was like his shit that he was going through. Yeah, it wasn't just like, oh, that guy's an asshole or this guy's an asshole, which is what people think is funny when they're on Twitter. No, yeah, because well, he it's was... usually Anthony's an asshole. <laughs> 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 hey. Well, no, the Twitter thing it's is just so, so disgusting, and the anonymity of like, I, well, you can't get sensitive. Anonymity? It's Jim Norton. Well, <laughs> He's the one writing it. <laughs> you can't get sensitive. I made the mistake no. of getting sensitive once. I announced I was engaged. I mean, it ended oh. in a fiery wreck. <laughs> uh, right. So a picture of me and the girl, uh, the first tweet to me was a kid in Iowa. And I should have known because his name was at Artie's Black Liver. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I said, what am I, getting my doctor report? Sure. <laughs> so the first tweet back, eat a dick, fatty. <laughs> I mean, my grudge, she, she burst into tears by me. <laughs> what was the second tweet you got from her blocking you? <laughs> <laughs> that was from her mother. <laughs> Eat a dick fat. Social media and phones, like you were saying, everything changed everything. When I was a kid, you used to have to get in touch with your friends Friday at school to know what the whole fucking weekend was. Because right. there was no getting in touch with anyone after that. Everything was face-to-face. You're knocking on doors. Is, you know, Bob here or something? Interaction, what you were saying, treating yeah, new people yeah. more. Yeah, yeah every, and uh, my fucking daughter wants to FaceTime my my wife. If she doesn't want to deal with me, she just like, FaceTime, FaceTime mom. Man. What's it's her ridiculous. number? <laughs> 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 Look, they're not even laughing at That's too much. Ooh. I have a daughter, you asshole. Hey, by the way, is the door open? It's fucking seven degrees in here. <laughs> I'm freezing. It's cold. <laughs> The whole time I've been cold and the audience is cold. And I'll, you want to talk about connecting? I'll speak up. Close the door. We're chilling. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> <laughs> but ra- radio fans are very intimate. Those fa- like, it really is like you went to oh, work with them you. in the morning. Oh, my God. Yeah. And they yell shit out now because Howard still has those the replays in the morning. And I, I do a gig now, and they yell out uh, something that happened that morning in 2006. <laughs> you know the amount of drugs I've done. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You have to remember and then address 10-year-old material. I outright say, you do. <laughs> oh, you know what that's like? <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> I, go, yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Four hours it's of radio, you do so much shit. How about working on vacation? Do you guys actually take vacations? No. Never, no, right? No, I only take off to go fly and do a gig. That's it. I, I, I'll go to see UFC events. That's the only thing I do. It's not comedy. I'll take a night or two off to go to see a UFC event in Vegas. But that's it. Not a trip it. to Taiwan every so often to see the temples. <laughs> <laughs> the Absolutely. temples on a nine-year-old. I a... <laughs> <laughs> Put your hand on some temples. <laughs> I took a girl. I took a girl to Paris once. This is how that ended. Uh, I got arrested. I was in jail in Paris overnight, and uh, I left her in Paris. And she said, "I have no money." And I said to her, the "Last thing I said to her, I said, you have the most expensive currency between your legs. Use it." Oh. Wow. Sage advice. <laughs> that uh, that ended the the, the relationship. And wow. the next morning, you saw it back in New York. Yeah. <laughs> so, apparently. <laughs> Absolutely. I should have ate a dick, fatty. <laughs> did, now, did that end the relationship, or was no, she still going to be your mom? I smoothed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, and that girl's my wife, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. That girl is Wanda Sykes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Do, do, do you worry about the unhealthiness of just running like that? <laughs> I know... I know Artie doesn't, but I'm, j- I just j- got a good fucking uh, uh, what uh, Bill physical, of physical doc. Yeah, everything's good. You sure? <laughs> who'd, you, who'd you go to, Doctor Nicopolis? <laughs> <laughs> I just I got diabetes and uh, Doctor Matarese. <laughs> <laughs> He's got diabetes good. and cirrhosis. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> Fine. Not diabetic now. That's fucking scary because I'm 50. That's the age well, they tell you when you're younger. You, when you're 50, you're gonna you know it's gonna catch up to you, apparently. <laughs> It did. Well, Jimmy, well, 50's Jim- the new 70. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the only guy who ever got fat on cocaine. <laughs> well, you eat faster. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, there's a true story. In rehab, a black kid said to me, across the, the fucking group therapy in front of everybody, are you pouring that shit on cheeseburger? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Ha- have any of you three I'm had a rehab a, with Dave Chappelle? Ha- any of you three had like ever had a health scare because of your li- like like because you weren't ever? Yeah, taking I was a almost healthy off. once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that health? <laughs> This is really fixing me. Yeah, man. I had out of a stent put so in. Fixed. Like, uh, uh, like on uh, Ron and Fez, like Fez. Fez had eight stents put in or something. <laughs> I, I had have a stent put in back in 2002. Uh, I was on a, like a beef and cigarette diet. <laughs> uh, and it was really bad. Like, yeah, that, that kind of was like, okay, I, I got to quit smoking and kind of calm down a little Wake bit. Wake up, cool. But, but then you're like, eh, fuck it. Did they put the stent in, or did they open your chest and realize there's nothing in here? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Unbelievable. You I love like it. watching his eyes size it up. He's like, I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's so fast, he's like, got it. <laughs> Keep talking, because I got well, it. One time Beetlejuice on the third show called me and said I was a mess. <laughs> Are you a mess? <laughs> with, the, with the black toothless retarded midget. <laughs> so your your advice to me would be to just keep going because I'm because uh, I feel like stop I stop working, live off your wife. I'm working constantly. <laughs> it's not enough, man. You to live it's in New York. Enough. What are you adding to it? To live in New York, you gotta make insane fucking money. You live in fucking Albany. No, I don't. No, you actually have a beautiful house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you I rake li- the lawn and shit? I live a few blocks from Ray Rice. Do you rake? <laughs> I went to Ray Rice's wedding. Uh, he had a best man. She had a cut man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, uh, 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 <laughs> nice self set. Guys, that was perfect. I mean, bam, unbelievable. He laid her out, man. <laughs> so my, my life's fine, is what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, compared to ours, <laughs> compared I, to mine. I like my Jimmy's life. Jimmy's got it together. Jimmy does have a good, you know. I'm doing okay. You're but, happy. Uh, yeah, I'm fair, it's relatively. Fu- yeah. yeah. It's fun because uh, uh, zero responsibility is great, and I know mm. it's not a healthy thing at this point in my life. You know, what am I hoping for? You know, 90 going. To, I think I'm gonna shed her down. <laughs> like, like at this point, though. Yeah, why not Sumner Cumnia? <laughs> <laughs> What do you like? <laughs> I'm the richest man in town. <laughs> do you not love Sumner Redstone? That's that's a good life. 96 years old. He paid a flight attendant 18 million dollars <laughs> to have sex with her. Paid his sister six million Jesus. to have sex with her, which must have caused a rift. Yeah, 18 million. <laughs> you could have fucked Mohammed Atta for that much. <laughs> <laughs> Atta's Katas. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> and they said his sexual proclivity was like uh, a little odd. A little odd, right? Which at 96, what, 18 what are you going to do? Yeah, 18, yeah. Million. 18 million. <laughs> to put two fingers up. <laughs> Probably. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Just to blow a flight attendant. <laughs> so, John, I yeah. think you're fine. <laughs> yeah, you're all right. Yeah, you're we'll like six months for a cleaning. <laughs> yeah. But how long right. have you been married? 11 years. All right. I'm thinking I made it nine, but it was a bad nine. Oof. A horrible fucking nine. The last half of it was just like trying to get threesomes together. Hey, wife, you like girls? You hang out with them all the time. Why don't we fuck one? (laughs) That's healthy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, always good for the relationship. I remember one time I was with my wife. And we were watching Dr. Drew, and he was talking about a horrible threesome czar because it always fucks the relationship up. And I'm like, give me the remote. Where the th- fuck this asshole? He doesn't know. But Next this- thing I know, Dominic Barber's going, you must share your money with her. <laughs> fuck you. you- <laughs> oh, what a tragedy. <laughs> At least the wife keeps you in check. Like, I, uh, I fell off the wagon in February with this hooker. And I brought her on a road with me, and I snorted, <laughs> I snorted glass. <laughs> She broke up an Oxycontin with a salt shaker from room service. I didn't tell me that she left the room, and I go, Arr. it felt like a zipper. Like, and, uh, she had Oxycontin from room service? No, no, she had it. <laughs> oh. What a great hotel. The, at, the the best Western, at the Best Western on 10th Avenue. <laughs> she doesn't tell me. And the glass gets in the fucking thing, and I snort it, and I, I, I got like a permanent fucking shitty thing here. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, so, you know, look, at, you're happy, just stay married. 
Like, in other words, there was, no, there was nothing to stop me from going, here's a good looking broad. I used to fucking Boston, has blow, and I'll, I'll go with her because I don't have anybody waiting at home. Uh, They're waiting to fucking put together a Scrabble board. <laughs> See, that sounds like a great night. I'm, yeah. To me, well, I don't know, 11 years up. Do you ever I'm think? Not un, I'm not unhappy in my marriage. It's not at all. Does I'm your eye ever doing here? I'm talking more about just, I don't. I don't have downtime in my life. It's just there's just it just keeps it's just blah, 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 and then go to sleep late and wake up really yeah. early and start all over again every day. Yeah. You know, it's that comedian lifestyle. Right. And I'm at an age now, like you said, I'm about to be fifty, and I don't want to fucking die. You know. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> By the way, when have you played Scrabble? <laughs> that sounds like fun. Oh. Yeah. I played Scrabble in the mental ward. <laughs> Yeah, me and Audie went to the same rehab. <laughs> that was great. Not a rousing fucking uh, endorsement. <laughs> there was an open G on the board, and some guy who hadn't gotten his stories in yet put an H and an R next to the G. And I just said, let's add it up. <laughs> <laughs> They treated your room like uh, it was a holy place. Oh, you went to the same? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They're that like, this is where Artie stayed. <laughs> like, holy shit. Oh, no. I'll pray in front of that. <laughs> they made the mistake give me a fentanyl patch one night. I'm like, I was, <laughs> you got the meds at 7.15. And I, I was back there every fucking day at like 6. I'm like, when is the meds? <laughs> the worst thing is they bring people in at night and they're hammered drunk. Oh, yeah. And every girl they bring us like, I think I could fuck her. <laughs> Oh, I've had a couple of chicks that are way out of my league. I fucked in rehab because they're not they're disoriented. <laughs> it's like a like a gazelle at the watering hole. <laughs> she's wounded. <laughs> the next morning, she's like, "Oh God, I thought you were Howard." <laughs> <laughs> she's got she's got those pelican goggles on. <laughs> Joe, you've lost control of the show. <laughs> I'm just checking emails now. Just getting shit done. Holy you guys. shit. Go See, ahead. he can't stop. We go or what? It's been like it's great. Minutes. He can't stop. This is great. It's been an hour. <laughs> what if I give this roller money back? Can I go? <laughs> it's been a fun hour. Uh, I got well, shit to guys, do. thank you. I really feel better really? now. Is that uh, the end of it? You Call want, me later. That you was want, abrupt. You want to just... It was abrupt? The ending. How, I don't know where we are for abrupt. time. Yeah, because the rest of the show is been smooth. We're at 9.37, but we started like 15, 20 minutes We've late. been here for an hour, the three of us. You th oh, yeah, it's been about an hour. Why does your minute. picture look like Negan from The Walking Dead? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I got that reference. I just Bob laughed at a reference I have bat. no idea. Yeah. What oh, you that. don't watch TV? Huh? You don't watch TV? I don't watch Walking Dead. Just sports, right? Yeah, mostly. Yeah. Yeah. That's should have got bets on. Dude, that's how fast my life pace is right now. I don't. I haven't seen any TV in like months. Nothing. Just there's just go. Well, you should Can't start February nineteenth. Well, I got kids out. too, man. If anyone out here, it's it's you guys don't have kids, so you can't really wrap your mind. I well, do, technically. I, <laughs> <laughs> I got a chubby Filipino kid in Vegas. Like. Sets off firecrackers in my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Cosmo. He's having fun. <laughs> Rick Springfield, good friend of mine. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> we should do this every week. <laughs> oh. You guys free to come in. Uh, I was gonna send you guys. I was gonna take phone calls and all that, but I just feel. How are you gonna like, do that? Can you take I, I phone got, calls? I, well, people leave How voicemails. Is that, John? The, the people leave voicemails and, and take a but, couple. But Let's guys, see what they had to say. But you Come guys, on. You, you guys will just. No, you, I would you, love you guys to can leave. Hear what they have to say. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah, see what they have to say. Uh, these, I got some fucking beauties. <laughs> Anthony, you haven't called me. What? Uh, is some, wait, somebody's hearing this right now? Like, uh, Not now. This room? No, these are pr they, they, they leave voicemails on the hotline. When does it air? When does it air? Yeah. Probably never. <laughs> I have the power of airing this. You don't, do you edit this down at all? This should just kind of be like... Oh, yeah, it. this will be edited. Do you down. really? <laughs> do you really? By the time it's done, I'm going to be getting all those laughs that you're getting. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you edit it or no? Yes. Do you really? Why? Really? Why? It's a podcast, I would just let right? it roll. I edit some. I, if, you know, you edit it when someone goes, "Could you not air that I said that?" Oh you yeah, take yeah, that yeah. Out. You're the king of that, man. Fucking oh, so my podcast. Every time. He gets paranoid over everything. I got a phone call an hour later. Uh, cut that out when I shut up. We, we we shit on our own manager for an hour. Well, what, what, what's he gonna do? <laughs> That's true. He never. Joe everything you said about the wife cunt thing has to go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wow, that's, that's, that's I think you should leave all this in. This was fun, man. This was yes. really fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Tremendous. Take out the fat joke. Yeah, take that out. <laughs> and my references to trans people. <laughs> all right, I, I actually think this is one of uh, Anthony's fans here. Oh, shit. How long did it take oh, no. for a phone call? We got volume here. Good morning, Joe. It's great. Uh, turn that up. Good morning, Joe. It's Chris. As for your request, take two of the Anthony Cumia Christmas carols. We can all slow down and enjoy this beautiful holiday season. <laughs> Trump to the world, Donald. Take care, Joe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Artie, you're taking uh, the mic with you. Every Artie, time you're dragging you the, the mic. <laughs> He's wrapped up like an ostrich in a bolo. Uh, yeah. God damn. Every time you go to phone calls, it's over, Johnny. Well, that wasn't a bad... I thought they're going to be live calls that we could ridicule. That would be great, right? Oh, I would love that. They can't even be rig ridiculed or ridiculed. <laughs> if some... Uh, well, we actually... Uh, we were also want to take some... Uh, some... Some... <laughs> advice calls uh, from the... From the... What was that? We got advice from the audience, questions from the audience? Yeah, we want some questions from the audience. Where's, uh, nice. where's Paul? Hey. Paul with the, with the wireless? I'm the Paul, I'm get, I'm getting the mic. You, sounds like you got it. Okay, Paul, yeah. Like Do you want him to come up, Joe? You want him to come no, up? No, throw right? the microphone at whoever wants to talk. Yeah. <laughs> we want, if you have a question, you got to uh, raise your hand. Raise There's a guy hand. here. This guy I over got, here. I got Sir. one in the back. Come over right to this, this guy to the front. Adam Ferrara has something to say. We don't want the... Fuck the guy yeah. in the back. Come up to the yes. front here, this guy with the There's tie. There's a guy here who's dressed like everyone stand who's on ever stage, not even sir. paying attention. Sir, can yes. you come up? Give this guy a round of applause, yes. guy with the tie. I'll, Get him up I'll here. come back yes. to you. He's fresh off of raping someone at a bachelor party. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Just come to the corner right there and put him I'm on. I'm going to roll my shirt sleeves up and get something done. Yeah. If you could uh, kind of tell the crowd and us kind of cheat it a hair that way. Hello, cool. Just hello. a hair that way, what your question is. Hello, hello. Jesus. Yo, what's up, New York City? I'm Arthur Valiant from West Texas. Yeah. All right. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. That's the correct response. I don't mind Arthur Valiant. Prince was my favorite cartoon, though. Prince Valiant? Go ahead, Artie. I'm just funning. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I wish Artie wouldn't have just left, because... While he was stuttering, I had this whole... Something you'll never hear Howard say? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was... Sorry. Uh, $99,000 pyramid, whatever it was. What yeah. do I know? Yeah, <laughs> Go ahead. You guys are in the back of the limo. Joe, you're the driver. It's Artie, Jimmy, Anthony, Paper Sis... Excuse me. Oh, no. Paper Sis the Rock. Paper Sis the Rock. Hold on, Bob Kelly has a comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> so, <laughs> I'm on my, pa paper scissors rock. You each get to pick your your, your rock, rock paper scissors. You pick the other. You pick the other guy's chick from the '90s. I pick the other guy. Oh what? shit! You pick the other guy's chick from the '90s. Se sexy Just pull a bill for chick from the '90s dick. wasn't born. Uh, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm just glad Are I didn't say Tracy Morgan was in the limo, too. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully don't the next know. guy's better. Okay. <laughs> Hello, sir. You have a very low threshold to compete with right Thank now. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Question Bono. for Artie Lang. Bono's here. How you doing? Where? It's adorable. <laughs> Oof. Oh, the, the lady with the glasses? Yeah. Oh, hi. Kind of looks like Bono, right? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Jimmy. Why the green gloves? It's freezing. Oh, it's cold. I thought you were making a color choice. Okay. 
Jimmy, just to go back to your last comment, last time I saw Bob Kelly, the first like 30 seconds, he walks out on stage and does a slow wave. It's like, hello, me. Uh, um, those are the moments. It was good, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I lost something in translation, uh, but uh, then, it, then he blocked out the sun and the natives went bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob Kelly skydiving was the best part of Apocalypto. You know what I'm <laughs> uh, question: As someone who has tried stand up and completely bombed every time, how do you do tonight? <laughs> I'll be, what, what, how do we do what? Because I'll be honest, before I came here, I bombed ferociously. I'm shooting a special on Saturday, so I'm doing sets every night. I bombed ferociously at the Comedy Cellar tonight. Wow. I, I tried a new opening line. It, it, it was nothing. Was it, hey, fuck sticks? No, that's what got me out of it. No, the, op the opening line I tried, I said, um, hey, I hear that uh, 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 pineapple makes your cum taste good, so I have to stop eating it. <laughs> Bunch of Hawaiians all angry at you. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a Dole Company convention. <laughs> it got a zero. I couldn't dig out of the hole. What was your question? Uh, legit, how do you like do between like riffing with your buddies and actually writing material? So, like, I Joe was talking about like that disconnect you have where you could just fuck around with your friends and be as brutal but as possible. But it's not a disconnect. In a way, it's like it, it's 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 the most connected I feel. Joking around like this, it's it's like you're so locked into this moment and everything that's being said. Like your mind, my mind works better here than anywhere. So I don't feel disconnected here. I feel very, very connected. It's That's a completely thing. where I agree. But how do you get yourself into the mind to actually sit down and write an actual joke? I'm not joke? good at that at all. I actually just write on stage. I'm not good at sitting down. I'm not disciplined. Like I admire Colin and guys who can do that. I'm not. That's really why good I at could that. never do stand up. I've I've never done stand up. You were funny. You did in Montreal and you were funny. But I funny. can't think of sitting there and writing something down and then having to assess it. I wish you felt that way on Twitter. <laughs> I'm not going to top that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, uh, you, can't, you can't even have a conversation. It's just... All right, let's, here's a call on the phones here. Hey, it's Johnny Stein, United States. Are you running yourself too hard? If your wife is attacking you sexually, then it's just right. If not, then you're not running yourself hard enough. Keep working until every time she fucking sees you, she jumps on you and attacks you sexually. Thank you. Wow. That, that puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Does this whenever it's told. Wait, Mrs. Littman, Mrs. Littman? <laughs> Put the fucking lotion in the basket. <laughs> That was creepy. Yeah, it was really was. <laughs> Two great big uh, fans. Yeah, we have another question if you want. It. Another yeah. brave soul who's willing to give it a go. No, no. we do. We want. We want them all. How's it going? Uh, so, Joe, before you were talking about uh, connecting with people, kind of slowing down, and you were asking Anthony and Jim and Artie these questions. If there was somebody on the stage that you didn't address, and I was curious about his answer, uh, and that was Chip. I was just wondering how <laughs> Chip. <laughs> <laughs> I never professional lead in. Fuck yeah. I never slow down. I move so fast, I'm like light. You heard what I said? I got another one, Joe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And it might sound something like this. It's Karen coming back from Philly. This is a uh, gender changer. Is that what you call them? I don't Who think are you telling? That. I'm telling you guys. I think he has a this gender is, changer. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, what do I call it? A Good Friday night. Huh? <laughs> yeah, um, what I was saying was, I don't think that you should too much anymore play up the fact that you're on this antidepressant and that one and you take that one. You can't even tell. Because... That's what I tell myself. Like, people <laughs> want to know that the celebrities, they, like, have it together. 
I don't know what the fuck that I was. I don't know what that was. I think that oh. was Chris But Farley it sounded sexy. Yeah. I'll say. I think we should go back to we got aggressive some, Who we got live here? Uh, you, what up? It's Wilbur. Do you have any advice oh, for me? I have a question. Um, you called your wife a cunt. But oh, shit. Whoa. We're editing this all out. Sam. That's right. No, hold your on. Let John Jones finish. Oh, shit. <laughs> By any chance, is she a gynecologist? Oh, gynecologist. Wait, wait, what'd you say? The mic, your mic dropped out. <laughs> By any chance. <laughs> uh, that's good. That reminds me, I gotta buy a beard trimmer. <laughs> it's the guy on the box, I swear. This guy right here, go over to Paul. This guy right here's right. got a question. Oh, he's in the middle. Hang on. Get him to stand Hold up. Hold on. You no, get, get up. him to move to you, Paul. You have power. No, you I have power? There. I've never had power. power. Why don't you walk over You there? gotta come to me. Oh. I never heard Phil Donahue say that. <laughs> hey, come to me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he always went in there. Joe, I don't have a question. You can hold the mic. <laughs> you, uh, you said you wanted a little advice. Uh, yeah. Get new friends. I, that's all I can say. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. You don't think we're good friends, sir? I'm not good friends with you. We're they, wonderful they're, they're, friends. They're, they're, they're business colleagues. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're doing this for free. That's a big act of friendship. Yeah. <laughs> sit, sit down, yes. East Side Dave, with a thyroid problem. <laughs> 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 yeah, sit down, Connor McMuffin. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one. This is the last one. Uncle Fez has got something to say. Uh, shut up. Uh, you can move up here. Hold the mic. All right, cool. Hi, uh, I'm uh, Vin from Jersey. Uh, and uh, married to a uh, mental health counselor and a yoga instructor, and I'm curious if you've ever tried yoga, meditation, or mental health to get through this. Well, I got the I got the meditation. Are you you're calling that the? Like, I take medication, but no, I've never done meditation. I just do medication. Meditation, <laughs> medication. <laughs> it's a very difficult situation. <laughs> Let's just have a Tony off. <laughs> so what are you fucking saying? Like fucking medication or is not the fucking thing? I need a fucking yoga class. You know, sit. I need Certain a fucking bunch of, of yoga pants. Hey, what are you in the mafia or something? <laughs> 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 I'm serious though. What did you mean? What did you mean? Like, try try that instead of medication. Try mental. I've heard. Me Do you guys ever meditate ever? No, I can't. I I, I should, but I have never you can tried. Stay it. still. When I go to sleep, I need the volume of the TV up and a lot of activity going really? on. Sure. I can't. If left alone with my own thoughts, I don't know what the fuck I do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Too much, too much shit going on. I need. I love Lucy on or fucking. The Brady Bunch. It's not falling asleep if when you wake up you have the steering wheel imprint in your forehead. <laughs> Come on, it's an airbag. <laughs> Jeez, oh, the Brady school. Bunch. I fall asleep to that. I got a DM from her recently. Oh, did you? <laughs> Cindy Brady, yeah. yeah. Oh, she, she, was awesome. fucking, uh, she got fired for fired. some comments on uh, social media. Wow, what an asshole. <laughs> Uh, well, let's let's give a round of applause for uh, Anthony oh, Cumia. Thank, thank you, thank so, you so much. much for doing this. Thank you, Joe Matarese. Thanks so Dude, much. Thank you, Jim Norton. Everybody, let him hear it. Thank you. That was a treat. Artie Artie Lang, who's tending to a bloody nose. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh poor Artie. <laughs> He's got. It's 20. fucking glass shot. I got I can't find a fucking tail. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm uh, or, uh, and, and listen to these guys, I'm sure. What was that? What was that? Hey, it's Uncle, I, I think I, Uncle Paul I was. I just did an Edgar. Oh, no, it was Edgar. <laughs> Look at me accusing Edgar of child molestation. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> I wasn't molesting no one. I thought it was Petey Dinklage. <laughs> Give him a nice round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh.
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>